modern brewing practices, if you think about it coming out of the, the big guys, Bud, Miller, Coors, everybody small has paid attention to how they clean, how they sanitize. That's often merged with how home brewers do things because that's where a lot of us came from. The traditional process for me as an engineer is kind of scary. The actual traditional cleaning process uses lye or sodium hydroxide caustic at 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And it goes in and you spray it around in the tanks and it cleans the stuff off, it descales the tank. You do an acid rinse and I looked into that and it's a mix of nitric and phosphoric acids, but it's not healthy. What we have found out by testing all of this with the, the Tory folks through all this, this work, I've eliminated any chance of using hot caustic. We found out that we can use the, the brewer's wash at a lower temperature with same effectiveness. We did follow on lab tests to show bacteria counts that showed that the sanitizing process using these tabs showed zero bacteria in the, in the cultures. So good correlation between the ATP floor reading and lab results. We also brewed beer, we tested the beer, and the beer tastes fine. So we now have a good improved sanitizing process. The safety has is, is gotten better all the way through. So in the front tank here, fermenter number one, we've just finished out uh, fermentation of our pumpkin ale. And this morning we transferred it down to secondary. So this morning after transfer, we have done a a rinse down with a hose to get rid of the gross debris and have just started the beginnings of the CIP process. We've mixed up uh, a PBW solution inside. We're running it through the recirculating pump. After that, we're gonna do a rinse step to get rid of that, drain that off. And then we're gonna mix up the uh, sanitizing solution with the brew tabs. Uh, at that point, we'll load that solution in Recirc that for five minutes. We'll drain that out because it is a chlorinated sanitizer. And then we're gonna do a two minute water flushing rinse, at which point we'll pop the manway open and do a swab and get an ATP meter reading. What I hope for that everybody else is, is gonna look at, they're gonna be faced with the same decision tree that I was when I started the brewery is, out of all the stuff that you have to worry about and make decisions on, you want to minimize that. So if you put your cleaning process in place, you want to have a very high degree of confidence that it's effective and it's safe. Safe for your team, safe for the environment. Knowing that this worked, that we learned a lot, that we've been able to put a repeatable process in place that enhances employee safety, guarantees product quality, and is better downstream for effluent and the environment, I want them to know that just because for decades and decades everybody used caustic and acid doesn't mean it's the most effective and you don't have to keep using it, you have a good alternative.